is nicotine a performance enhancing drug? Is it a smart drug? Does it increase your intelligence or aspects of cognitive ability? Well, nicotine has got a lot of attention online in recent years from certain people asserting that nicotine is good for focused attention or focused work. And actually in certain sports like baseball, players have been using nicotine for, for years, if not decades, part of the culture there to improve performance. But what does the science actually say about nicotine? Well, nicotine binds to a receptor in your brain called the acetylcholine receptor. So it's actually like a, like a counterfeit key. It fits in perfectly to that receptor. It knocks the door open and it causes a massive release of dopamine in a place called the nucleus accumbens, which is like the pleasure center in your brain or the reward processing center that's deep in the brain. So it actually taps into the same area that responds to food and sexual reproduction. So you can see why nicotine is so addictive and habit forming. What about psychological research? What about cognitive or aptitude tests? Does nicotine actually increase certain aspects of intelligence? Well, for psychomotor skill or fine motor skill, there's a fairly consistent improvement there across the literature and across studies. So you can maybe see why certain sports use it. There's a study in archery from a few years ago that found that nicotine improves performance in archery participants. Also concentration and attention. Nicotine does seem to make maybe monotonous tasks more interesting. It increases vigilance and attention. Now, the story is a little bit different from more complex cognitive tasks. So if we consider working memory, which is like your brain's ability to hold multiple things in the brain at once and really get stuff done by updating the information in your brain, which most complex tasks require, nicotine doesn't seem to have an effect there. Now, it works a little bit differently to caffeine. Caffeine isn't as habit forming. It doesn't hit the dopamine system as much or the reward processing system as much. It mainly hits the adenosine system. While it wakes you up, it makes you very alert and is definitely better in a sleep-deprived state, it, it doesn't tap into those reward processing parts of your brain as much.